What is that mysterious ticking noise? tremolo works but there are two problems and one is that if I want to have some sort of intensity or hear the tremolo effect I'll have to turn the pot to 10 um, if it's below 8 there's hardly any uh, effect and also of course this is the slowest speed um, of the tremolo and you can hear the tremolo ticking I would like to see the tremolo go a little bit womp, womp, a little bit slower still um, rather than have this is way too fast so well here's the chassis out of the amp with uh, the tubes I took out the tubes the tube caps to check them for microphonics and discovered that the first one which is a brand new tube I replaced uh, I think a year back it's kind of microphonic one as well I bought this amp about 15 years ago there's a whole specific story attached to it it used to be a silver face fender and it has been black faced by a guy who was uh, working on amps at the time and uh, who had a day job in the automotive industry debugging the noises that come from cars so it was really like a, an audio engineer okay and here's the inside of the amp 
with uh, the original board which is warped probably due to humidity and probably this is the cause of the ticking in the tremolo the input section is here put your guitar in here and it works its way down here tremolo circuit is over here with these one two three capacitors uh, here is the the LDR and the light that will be flashing when the tremolo is turned on and the best way to fix it is to take a capacitor of 10 nanos and connect it from this lug of the 10 I think this is a 10 meg resistor to the ground point here this will have supposed to take away the ticking in the tremolo and filter out some noise as well As you can see, it's a uh, 1975 chassis, but it's been black-faced. And uh, some changes have been done to the circuit. Also, the tremolo circuit functions on the, on the first channel, not on the second channel where the reverb is. Of course, the, out, uh, sorry, the power transformer has been replaced uh, to accommodate the 240 volts we have here in Europe and uh, that's why this is a replacement the output transformer and the other coils the choke and the reverb uh, are original probably to the 70s 75 silver face uh, re super reverb that as originally was I think only this capacitor, this coupling cap, the blue model one is an original. Most of the rest has been replaced by newer stuff. And it will make Skip Simmons very happy to see that they didn't use brakes. Here's the bias spot. the bias supply Yeah, of course, everything was upside down, so uh, uh, connected to the wrong socket. Okay, it's working. If we connect the plug for the, the vibrato, it should just start ticking, right? Okay, there is some ticking, but it's not so bad as I remember it, so. If the ticking is not so prevalent, uh, the reason might be that I have connected a, a 16 ohm speaker while this amp expects to see 2 ohms. And that's probably why the noise isn't as bad. So let's, uh, let's get in the uh, original speaker set. Oh yeah, it's much clearer with the correct speaker set. So um, let's try and fix this by putting in this capacitor from uh, the 10 megs to ground. I will turn off the amp to do that because uh, I w uh, if I looked at the schematic correctly, there's 400 volts going around in these uh, 
in this area of the end. There it is. Rated 630 volts would be okay. Okay. Alligator clipped in. I mean, the capacitor is clipped in by means of alligator clips. They're not charting out, it only looks like that because of the wicked perspective. Okay, let's turn it on and see what happens. Got any explosions? Smoke? Tremolo is on. I can turn the speed faster, but uh, you should be able to see the light bulb flashing. Here, it's flashing. I hear no ticking whatsoever, so... Let's check up the speed, not touch the leads. Maximum speed, as you can tell from the... Okay, we'll be soldering this in. Okay, that uh, capacitor is installed. Let's try it again and hope it still works. It's another one of those amps that doesn't need the standby because it's tube rectified and uh, by the time the rectifier has warmed up, the filaments are uh, receiving current. No ticks? Nothing? Okay. <laughs>